Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to build the Feed the Beast tree farm I showcased um, and as you guys requested here is the tutorial. So for anyone who hasn't seen the showcase video I'll really quickly explain what this thing is doing. So in a sense this is a power plant that generates about 300 MJs per tick. So that is the first thing um, this is supposed to be used for. Of course you can also just use this as a tree farm but then you won't need to build a lot of these parts. What is going to happen is these jungle trees are going to get harvested, their logs are going to be burned into charcoal and the charcoal is going to be supplied to these two high pressure steam boilers. They are going to produce steam which is going to be converted into buildcraft energy and then the buildcraft energy can be used um, to power all of your machines. Uh, of course also your industrial craft machines by using these power converters or any other method of converting power. So now that is all aside, let's start with the tutorial. Um, so one thing I should note is that the direction is very important in this build. So we're going to start out with an 11 by 11 dirt platform that is going to be five blocks from the ground. So four blocks in between like this. And then you're just going to build your 11, 11 by 11 platform. So once that is done, we can start doing the redstone or <laughs> whatever you want to call it. So facing the east direction and this is where your minimap comes into play because you can really easily see the directions on there. So E is for east of course, so face the east direction and then to your right you're going to count out five blocks. So I'm just going to use sandstone for that. So one, two, three, four, five. And then from the fifth block you're going to count out another five blocks um, into the east direction, if you know what I mean. So I'm now facing the west direction. So one, two, three, four, five. And this block is going to be the block where your har harvester is going to be. So just remove that one and then just place the harvester right there. And now the little circle should be there. Uh, just remove this and now we can start uh, building the rest. So place your planter on the left side of the harvester and the turtle right there on the right side. So let's just uh, configure the harvester switch uh, is also harvesting the jungle wood because by default it doesn't. So you just want to put this jungle wood on yes. Um, then the planter is going to have the copper upgrade, the copper radius upgrade, which is going to increase its radius by 4. Use the copper, don't use anything else. This is the perfect upgrade that is going to be the most efficient. Um, then uh, we're going to program the turtle. Uh, you want to start out by placing a stack of wood in the first slot. Um, this wood has to be of a different kind of the uh, kind you are harvesting. So I'm harvesting jungle wood so I'm putting oak wood in the turtle. Then just fill up all the additional slots with uh, some kind of junk item like sticks that isn't used in this farm in any way. And then we're going to start programming. So we're going to type edit start up and make sure you type it exactly like this. This is basically going to make sure that when you reload your world, the turtle is still going to do this program without you having to turn it on again. So hit enter and then we're going to start programming. So while true do enter turtle dot place open bracket one close bracket uh, enter wait uh, sleep sorry <laughs> sleep five. Uh, and the 5 has to be between brackets, enter, end. So just a quick explanation, this is going to be a never ending loop where the turtle is going to place the block that is in its first slot, so the oak wood, then it's going to wait for 5 seconds and then it's just going to repeat the process. So now we just hit control, um, enter, hit control again, go over to exit and hit enter. Now just type start up, and now it's just going to run its program forever. <laughs> uh, now we're going to do the pipes. So uh, start with an insertion pipe there, then two diamond pipes like this, another insertion pipe, 
and then a stone transfer pipe very important a smooth stone pipe next to the insertion pipe um, then we're going to put our first deep storage unit there that's going to get all the saplings then another one here for the wood and the last one here for the uh, I believe this one is for the vines so if you don't want to collect the vines you can just put a void pipe instead so now we're going to configure these so we're going to see on our minimap where the input is so for this one it is going to be the north so put north on in then for this one is going to be the west so put west on in and for this one is going to be the east so put east on in um, now we just need to configure these diamond transport pipes so this is the most left one uh, green is going to be the jungle wood red is going to be the saplings and blue is going to be the vines and the oak wood then for the right one we're going to have uh, red the saplings and the jungle wood blue is going to be the vines and yellow is going to be the oak wood there we go that is all done next up we're going to transport some items using these transfer nodes so we're going to place this on the deep storage unit here then apply two speed upgrades on it and that is pretty much done by right clicking the node using these uh, speed upgrades then place two more pipes like this and your two induction smelters like that then you're going to power these at all times so just place a lever like that and power it now we're going to grab the items from the furnaces and also apply two speed upgrades on each and just go down using these okay uh, dig five blocks like this and that is pretty much everything for, for the transport um, now we're going to place the steam boilers so you want to dig a 3x3 uh, three three like this place your solid fueled firebox as the first layer and then the next four layers are just going to be the high pressure steam boiler blocks we are going to repeat the exact same thing on the other side so again a 3x3 three three, solid fueled fireboxes and fill up the rest with these high pressure steam boilers once you're done you should have two working steam boilers which you can interact with um, they do require something else though and that is water and we're going to use these aqueous accumulators for that so just dig these three blocks on each side and then place water next to them um, the water ha have to be source blocks otherwise it's not going to work um, they are now going to be slowly filled up with water as you can see and it is, it is really quick enough to supply it with enough water trust me next up the power converters we're going to do a mirror setup again so place two uh, steam consumers like this a energy bridge in the middle and then a build craft producer below do the exact same thing on this one and then we're going to do one more energy bridge for these uh, two furnaces they are going to require um, the lovely industrial craft power so place your MV producer there between the two furnaces your energy bridge below and your build craft consumer again below now we're going to connect up everything with these energy conduits from thermal expansion and as well we're going to connect up the machines we're using here so make sure you uh, feed power into the planter and the harvester like so and now just right click the uh, pipe here with a wrench and once again there with a wrench um, so those two should be orange the other one should all be blue 
Um, now all we have, uh, all that is left to do is put in the liquiducts. So put in three on the top here, like that. Um, then two below, one on the side, and then two more like this. And then on the other side, we're going to do something very similar. So just four liquiducts like this. Then mirror the same thing on this side. So four like this, three on top, and five like so. Okay, that is all your liquiducts done. And that is actually also the farm done. So all you need to do now is put some saplings in the planter. Two stacks should be enough to start and uh, provide this thing with some power because yeah, it's not generating anything at the moment. So before it can be self-sufficient, you need to supply it with a little bit of power. I found that one fully charged redstone energy cell is enough to get this thing going. Make sure that you put the output on 100 MJs per tick, just to be sure. Uh, right click this thing once, so it's orange, and now it should be going. As you can see, it's planting the saplings, and there should be jungle trees growing in no time. One pro tip I have for you guys is uh, build a ring around this patch of dirt and fill it up with torches like I did um, on this one. So it will also grow trees just as quick as it will during the day, during the night. And that is pretty much everything that you should know about this farm. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.